Hello YouTube, Herman's getting back with another episode of World Box. Today we're going to be seeing who is better, an advanced civilization or a single legendary dragon. Before we get into it, I just want to say that you may notice that the world is already populated and created. I've decided instead of shoving the beginning of the video of me creating the world and just fast forwarding through everything, that I wouldn't show it at all and see how this works out. If you are interested in seeing how I create a world or how this world is created or how I show other civilizations in future videos, check out my Twitch where I'll be live streaming my pre-recording sessions, I guess you can call it. And also my TikTok uh, that you will see a link in the description where I will upload clips of me from my live streams. My Twitch is twitch.tv slash Herman's Gaming. It is in the description as always. All right. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Before I spawn the dragon, I will show you what we have. Okay. So I do have a mod. That is a modern mod. Um, it only affects the buildings, not their capabilities. So, like, I think this is part of the ca uh, pack. But they're mostly skyscrapers, and I wanted to start before they got to the skyscrapers. Like, I think that's probably part of the modern pack. Um, not too much has gone into it, though. But just to show, they have some silver weapons, but they're also using wood sticks. I saw stone and silver weapons. These um, islands were inhabited by hostile creatures, as well as they started out with a second civilization right next to them. So they do have some more experience. You can see a bow and arrow. So they're not completely out of the game. That's part of the modern pack right there. Probably that is... But this was all the grass biome, jungle biome. This is the savanna seed. You can see a little bit left. I had this all filled up up to here with ore, regular rock, and I think I had silver as well. Um, there are some andesite, I believe it's called. Let me double check. Atomite here. And I had gold over here. You can see that is all gone now. Sticks. Bone arrow. Let's see if I can find something actually useful. Okay, I'm not finding any good examples, but I did swear I saw a spear. Okay. Without further ado, we will spawn the dragon. I'm thinking spawning the dragon in right here. Because it's kind of in the center. Maybe right here. Yeah, I think right here is going to be where the dragon shows up. Scary flying lizard that brings destruction to your world. Fun. Now, full disclosure, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if they can fight back. I don't know if they can win. I haven't looked it up. So, what happens, happens. We will find out together. And immediately, okay, so they started attacking the dragon immediately. Let me see if I can see his health. He must be taking a decent amount of damage. Oh, wow. He immediately died. I don't think he killed a single one. Anyone that's on fire is hopping in the water, so that's good. I think a couple are dying from the fire, but that's about it. So, there was a giant army right here, so let me spawn one where there's not a giant. Like, right there, right here. What is going? Is there one? There's a bunch down here. Let me spawn one right here. See if that makes a difference. Otherwise, this would be a very quick video. Okay. Alright. He's still taking a lot of damage. Okay, he's doing better this time. 
you can see they're hitting him with a lot of boats and arrows. I think it'd be a good idea for him to fly around like that. Maybe not over there, that didn't really do anything. Seems like the villagers are having a little bit of a harder time this time. But his, his damage is still very contained. I would say, at least. I don't know if there's anyone even down there. It seems like their armies aren't really worried about the massive dragon attacking them. He's doing a decent amount of damage. He's really worried about attacking, attacking that ocean. Maybe he just has something against water. I'm not sure. It seems like the villagers almost don't care. Okay, now this army is going to attack. Oh, okay. He is getting pretty low on health. Let's see what he does. And he has died. The dragon has been slayed. So, looks like the advanced civilization wins. Maybe not right away every time, but will win eventually. I mean, there's 5,000 people. There's no way he was going to win that in the long term. Let's, let's see if maybe the fairy, well, I've never used the UFO at all. In the spirit of doing things I haven't done, bring the UFO involved. Let's get, let's get the UFO involved. Sorry, I could not talk right there. Okay, so they're attacking it again. And they're landing hits. He said, fuck that guy in particular right there. Fuck this farm. But it's still losing health very quickly. UFO can't beat it. Let's see if a zombie, let's say a zombie landed from the UFO. Immediate. Immediate death. And a uh, super pumpkin grows. Pumpkin has no time. Wow. Let's say this fire starts a, a flame tower. Nothing! They are locked in. Whatever this thing is. That can't win. Let's see. Maybe the ice tower. Nothing. Let's see if the Crab Destroyer can get a victory where the others could not. So they are attacking. I didn't think they could attack. Alright. We are rampaging. Ooh. 
we are doing what the dragon could not. I actually do feel bad about this, though. I feel like they've earned their existence. You know what? I concur with that thought. They have earned their existence. But you know who hasn't earned their existence? The ones that watch this video without subscribing. Kind of like this chicken over here. Yes, this one. If you guys like this video, remember to like and subscribe. Click the bell notification if you want to see when I upload in the future. Have a good day.